guys, T Call Kid 13. And West. And welcome to the first edition of Social Blades Gaming News Wrap Up. This is a show where we review the latest gaming news of the week. Our first story of the week is that a fan tries to recreate Duke Nukem Forever and tries to make it more like the trailers from E3 2001. The game features levels from these trailers as well as graphics from Duke Nukem 3D. I'm not a fan of the games, but I think it's pretty awesome that someone would try to make a better version of the Gearbox Duke Nukem Forever, no matter how bad the trailer is. They're everywhere! People are turning into monsters! There's no place to hide! Please help us! It doesn't matter if the game is downloaded off of GOG.com or you own a physical copy of the game, all versions should work to make this mod playable. The Duke Nukem Forever mod is available on ModDB, the link should be in the description. Our second news topic for today is about Call of Duty announcing their new game Call of Duty Ghosts. It is set to release November 5th by the original creators of Call of Duty Infinity War, Sledgehammer Games who helped make Call of Duty's Modern Warfare 3 will not be contributing in this. With this new game, Activision states, Ghost delivers a riveting all new gameplay experience, built on an entirely new story, setting, and cast of characters, all powered on a new generation Call of Duty engine that redefines the series for the next generation. Three new trailers for Grand Theft Auto V came out recently, showing the new characters in the game and their backgrounds. We have Michael, a retired bank robber with a family who wants to go back into the life of crime. Franklin, a thug that wants to leave the gangster life. And Trevor, a drug dealer that's a bit crazy. So far there's nothing much new to the game except for these three characters, unless I'm missing an article. The game comes out at September 17th, which makes me very excited. <laughs> Oh, oh, my bad guys, I was just playing some Minecraft, you know, getting addicted to it. But this reminds me of our final topic for today is Minecraft Pocket Edition, reaching over your 10 million soul copy mark. That, that's, that's fantastic. Congratulations, Minecraft Mojang people. And um, Daniel Kaplan talks about the new upcoming updates in the game. Which kind of gets me excited because you know I can't do much stuff. There's no end, and, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the updates. Well, that's the end of our show. This might be a little bit short, but next week we're going to try and be a bit more organized and try to bring more topics into the show, so it'll be longer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Social Link Gaming. Also. Stay tuned for next week's episode.